island developing states and least developed countries based in UN New York to the Chicago Chamber of Commerce and Industry. We are truly honored to host this gathering facilitated by the Foreign Services Academy aimed at fostering dialogue between diplomats and our chamber. Such exchanges undoubtedly contribute to a deeper understanding of Sialkot, Sialkot's industrial landscape and the working of our chamber. This visit holds promise for strengthening bilateral relations and trade ties between effective coordination and understanding between business communities. Diplomatic channels play a pivotal role in facilitating such cooperation. Pakistan has always been committed to nurturing fruitful relationships with all nations. We are optimistic that the bonds between Pakistan and the esteemed nations represented by our guests will continue to flourish, grounded in mutual trust and collaboration within the private sector. While the potential for growth in the trade between Pakistan and the countries of our guests is substantial, current trade volumes fall short. Policymakers from each nation must address the issue promptly. Strengthening private sector linkages between friendly countries is essential for boosting trade. To make progress in this regard, I suggest active engagements of the Chamber of Commerce, which would act as a resource base for exchanging information. The exchange of trade delegations and most importantly, participating in trade exhibitions would also help in promoting trade. I may now take this opportunity to give you a brief introduction to the bustling industry city of Sialkot and the remarkable contributions made by the Sialkot Chamber of Commerce and Industry, the representative body of the private sector in Sialkot towards the economic development of Pakistan. Sialkot has cultivated a vibrant small and medium sized enterprises culture that is highly conducive to business collaborations and joint ventures across a diverse spectrum of industries. The exporters hailing from Sialkot exhibit a profound understanding of international trade regulations and requirements, leading to an impressive annual export value exceeding 2.31 billion US dollars. The foreign diplomats would be pleased to note that the Sialkot Chamber has not only pursued business excellence, but has also undertaken commendable initiatives for social sector development and welfare of the people of the city. Our concerned efforts, driven by the active participation and generous contributions of our esteemed members, have borne fruit in the form of transformative projects that have left a positive impact on the region. The projects initiated by the Sialkot Chamber include the Sialkot International Airport, Sialkot Dry Port Trust, Sialkot, Sialkot Tenry Zone, Child Social Development Organization, and Air Sial. To give you a comprehensive insight into our industrial landscape and to give a briefing on the extensive development in the guests for visiting the Sialkot Chamber of Commerce and Industry and would like to wish you all the best in your future endeavors. God bless you all. Please play the documentary. The driving force behind Sialkot's remarkable journey, facilitating exports to over 100 renowned international brands worth an astounding 2.5 billion US dollars annually. Men who received us outside, he's uh, on a conference call uh, with the uh, Minister for Commerce right now. Uh, Madame Dr. Mariam Maman, she is the President of Sialkot Women Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Uh, Mr. Wahab Jahangir, Vice President, Sharpur Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Senior Vice President. Senior Sharpur Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Excellencies, the DPRs, the councillors, the ministers, first secretary, second secretary from uh, 27, but we call it these developed countries, the small island developing countries, their extension. Thank the Sharpur Chamber of Commerce and Industry. For being here, the entire management, the entire uh, hierarchy of the uh, chamber, and for organizing this uh, wonderful uh, program for us. In fact, uh, the guests here today, they are the most important diplomats of the respective countries, stationed and serving uh, the national interest in UN New York, UN United Nations New York. Uh, they started the program on Monday and they will be leaving over visit 
to Pakistan would not have been uh, as fruitful and educative and informative uh, had we not added Shalkot to the uh, program. So just imagine a small city of uh, say about four, the business acumen that they have developed, the private sector has developed an uh, international airport, they have developed an uh, international airline, they are already operating to two, three countries, UAE and Saudi Arabia, and six more approvals have been granted by the host states and by the government of Pakistan to fly Sial Air. So, in future, Sial Port will not have to wait or to do this hassle of connecting flights and waiting uh, in the lounges, you know, that becomes a waste of time. So, they are smart by nature. They are just sitting on the here. We have a very beautiful garage, but in the past of time, they have the best rice in the world, Basmati. It's, aroma is the best. We at uh, Pakistan and Leo about its uh, registration. They say it's only our product. They have two districts in the east. We are right at the Indian border, just 15 kilometers from here. You uh, have the Indian territory. These uh, districts, the soil is fertile and the soil in Shalpo. Yes. The, uh, the great thinker, philosopher, Alama Dr. Muhammad Iqbal, who dreamed of an uh, independent free homeland for the Muslim uh, part of the of South Asian subcontinent in 1930 in London in a round table conference. So, governmentship and the business acumen of the people here. And being the deputy permanent representative and being uh, representatives of your respective countries in New York, you are among the best friends and representatives from New York rather than inviting your host, uh, your Ministry of Foreign Affairs in the respective capitals. You have a much, uh, access to all the countries, 193 members in the UN, this is almost a UN committee, committee meeting setting. So when you go back, you have to tell the story of Pakistan. I will only tell you my own story. I was in Tanzania in East Africa. That was my first uh, posting in Africa in, from 2019 to 2022. And in 2020, by January, this COVID thing happened or started happening. But thanks to the then policies there, uh, they said it was $90 million per year, $70 million Pakistani exports, and uh, $20 million Tanzanian exports to Pakistan. The major Tanzanian exports were tea, coffee, and leather, and some traditional spices. In Zanzibar, they have the spice village, many of them. Commerce industry. Thank you. Uh, we at the moment are 126 registered members here. Most of our women are engaged in export businesses, as, as you saw in the documentary, um, all kinds of um, products they are making. And other mm. than that, we have women have, uh, doing their local businesses, um, uh, which are other than that. And we have a, lot, a huge uh, uh, you know, potential in this city, and we have successfully conducted two exhibitions in the last three years. Although we have, it's been a very short time for us, but we have been engaged with Sarko Chamber of Commerce since last 20 years, actually. I have been in the part of it since last 20 years. So the, these two exhibitions were hugely successful. The last exhibition, the last exhibition, there were 16 international delegates as well. So this was the hallmark for us because never in the history of uh, Sarko had uh, ever been a women-related uh, 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 exhibition. And that was the first time when uh, an international delegates uh, also came and British High Commission actually was our partner. And that's so, uh, uh, what I'm saying is whatever uh, South Chamber of Commerce is doing, women are, are, are also uh, working side by side and also contributing in the economy. Thank you so much. Please stop. Please. 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 Please, Jamaica. What a beautiful country it is. Everyone, my name is Tabla Tehera. I'm from the Permanent Mission of the American Republic, Caribbean.